What's up, YouTube? Top Tactic Fishing here. Welcome to today's episode. Welcome to another boat fishing episode for you guys today. We're going for some flathead catfish on the Schuylkill River. Show you what we're doing. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So we are fishing a familiar stretch that I've done pretty well at for flatheads. And like I said, Schuylkill River. And haven't fished this exact spot in the stretch of this river, but you can see the bridge right in front of me here. A little bit of structure going on to the left here. We got some nice current, nice flow, and uh, we're anchored up nicely right now. So uh, we're doing a little bit of a day bite right now before it gets dark. It'll probably get dark probably in the next hour and a half, two hours. So um, it's always fun to get some daytime flatheads if you can. So. What's on the menu tonight? We are using a combination of sunnies, bluegill, and rock bass. So bluegills and rock bass are on the menu tonight. And that is what we are gonna start with. All right, so we're probably gonna use um, two live and two cut. Uh, I really wanna try to get some good quality fish or really just get some fish in general here just because um, I went out yesterday, didn't get anything and you know, so I'm kind of here for redemption, I guess you could say. Um, so we're using headpieces or live bait. So I'm not really using the cut baits today. We'll see, we'll see. But for now, I just want to start with some really good baits. And we're going to start off with our rock bass here. Huh. The one I used yesterday was still alive, and I used him live, and he's still kicking pretty good. But... This is him right here. Look at that. You can still see the hole. Oh, shoot, before I get punctured here. You can still see the hole right there. Oh, gosh, and he is, his fins are sharp. Look at that. She is already bleeding. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm probably gonna use him as cut bait. All right, cut off that dorsal fin because it's sharp. There's, I mean, the sunnies, rock bass, they have sharp dorsal fins. So I like to cut off that dorsal fin. Not required, just more of a preference thing. Hey, there he is. He's still wiggling. <laughs> All right, probably gonna cast this one probably near some of the structure here. Move some of these rods out of the way. So this one has 30 pound test main monofilament line down to a six ounce disc sinker here. And I'm using a Demon Dragon um, on this here. Demon Dragons are nice. Um, works good for live bait and cut bait. Um, it rattles in the water. So as you can kind of hear it, it rattles. It alerts some fish, alerts flatheads. And pretty much I have it from the barrel swivel down, barrel swivel down to the demon dragon determines how much it's gonna float up off the bottom because these demon dragons do float. So I have about a foot there. So I always just seem to do really well with demon dragons. Really well. All my bigger fish have come to them. All right, so we're gonna put that guy. Right there. That is not deep at all. <laughs> not deep at all through there, guys. I'm gonna use a live rock bass over here now. See if I can get another one. All right, there we go, there we go. That current really is kind of ripping through there, isn't it? It's like kind of, kind of pulling. I'm gonna pull in there. All right. Okay. We're gonna, you know, I only got two rods that are on Demon Dragons, so I got a headpiece on one, we'll use a live on the other, but we'll probably use these interchangeably here, anyways. Meaning that we'll have some bluegill on these Demon Dragons as well. Oh, forgot to put the, the weight on here. 
be nice to get a fish here. So I usually fish, a, this is shallow water here. This is only like six feet through here, but since these are kind of close to the bank here, it's gonna be, be anywhere between four to six feet. Now, when I get these area rods more cast towards the bridge, it's gonna be deeper, probably like close to 10 feet. We're still alive, we're still alive. All right, bluegill alive. It's all I can get for bait, no trout today. Just haven't had time to go to that spot to get the trout. So you just gotta make do with what you got, I guess. This one's gonna go straight out. Okay. All right, guys, all the rods are out. Hopefully we can get something. I'll even take a channel cat. So rock bass and bluegills on the menu tonight. Let's see what we can get. Stay tuned. All right, guys, it's been close to a half hour, so no luck here. So we're gonna move on to our next spot. All right guys, nothing at this spot, so we're gonna move on to a third spot, stay tuned. All right guys, third spot. Um, we are in seven feet of water right now. Uh, there's structure right behind me there, and I'll give you a closer pick, but it's starting to get a little bit dark, so we're gonna get the glow sticks out. Done well at this spot before, so this is definitely not a disappointing spot. Um, caught that big flathead on that rock bass during that last flathead video at this spot, so. Let's get set up here. All right, guys, all the rods are out, so we have just to kind of re, um, redo this here. So the, the one on the far left here has a uh, bluegill headpiece. And then the second rod, I have a live rock bass. Third rod, live bluegill. Fourth rod, rock bass headpiece. So I'll probably interchange some of these baits at some point, depending if we get anything or if we don't get anything, just to kind of freshen up. So but anyways, I, I do feel confident that we should get something here. Um, it's never really let me down. It's been a pretty much of a go-to spot. So, like I said, it fluctuates between five to seven feet through here. It is a feeding hole. A lot of bait fish that get through here. And you can see there's just a lot of structure, which I'll show you more closer up here in a second. All right, guys, this is uh, the setup we got. I'm using my iPhone right now. Here's why I'm using the iPhone so I can zoom up. But look at this. This is the structure that we're hitting. All the branches, all the debris, fallen limbs there. And it kind of goes all the way through here. This is what makes this spot pretty good. So, done really well here. Caught a lot of fish in the 20s. Still looking for my 30 at this spot, but I know they're in here. So, let's see if we can get some.
gotta get one on here. Oh god. Come on, baby. He's probably in the teens, can't really see too well, but. This is where you really need a neck guy. I'll tell you that. Oh, that's a big fish. Got him. Woo! Alright. <laughs> First one guys. 16 pounds. This is on the live, I mean the, the bluegill head. Alright, here we are. Woo! Nice fish. I'm gonna go ahead and release this. Here he goes. All right, I'm gonna put this rock bass right over there. All right, get a big one on there. So I'm just moving that live bait right where I caught that just flathead there, so. Okay, bluegill's winning. All right, we're gonna put another cut bluegill head on there. I do have a live largemouth bass in there. It's small. Thought about maybe using him as bait, but all right. Let's get this one back out. And that did not take long at all. That's what I'm saying. If you're if you're in a good spot, usually they'll hit pretty quickly. So, all right, here we go. Just gonna toss this one out. This is a channel. This fight's like a channel. Man. Probably get the grippers on him. Hopefully. Gosh, this channel's fight good here, I will tell you that. Mm, he's chunky, all right. Oh, he came off. Jeez, as I was trying to grip him. Dang, son of a gun. <sighs> ah, came off. Well, it was a channel, probably about eight pounds. 
And that was on... That may have been on the live bait, because this is on a Demon Dragon there. So... Actually, no, th that was on a... That was on the Rock Bass Head. Yeah. Rock Bass Head. Hmm. That's all right. That's all right. Oh, ho, ho, man. Yeah, this is a nice one. big as I thought, but it's current, I think is as I thought. Twenty two, twenty four. I don't know if you guys can see twenty two, twenty four. So this is a, a twenty one, twenty four, twenty pound flat. All right, yeah, twenty pounds. It's decent. All right, guys, second one. All right, this is to the live rock bass. So we've caught a 16 pounder on a bluegill head and then we caught a 20 pounder on the live rock bass here. We missed the channel if, uh, and buckled up the bank. That was to a rock bass head, so. All right, nice fish. Whew. Fought a lot harder than 20 pounds, I'll tell you that. Let's release it. he goes all right I don't know if I have any more rock bass let's see here all right guys we're gonna call it quits uh, we caught 
two fish, 16 pounder, 20 pounder, both on a bluegill headpiece. And well, one on a bluegill headpiece, and the other one was on a live rock bass. So, um, done pretty well with the rock bass so far this year. Um, the 24 pound flathead I caught in a previous video was a lot, was on a live rock bass, and this 20 pound uh, flathead on a rock bass. So, um, Bluegill, we did get one on the bluegill. We did lose a, a decent channel at the at the boat to a, a, a rock bass head too. So overall, not too bad. Um, I was actually expecting a little bit more action, but um, you know, still good to get out, bring the boat out, get some nice fish regardless. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Please consider hitting that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. We'll catch you on the next one on Top Tactic Fishing. Take care, guys.